Hello. So, first of all, I am annoyed that I'm not in frame. I realize this. My head is cut off. But if I extend my arm like this, then it's then it looks then I'm in frame. But my arm is in immense pain having to hold it out like this. You can see, look at this. Anyway, sorry, that's tangential. Uh, so, hello, I am making this video just to say hello, uh, essentially, and kind of talk about Libre Galaxy uh, and just other things. You know, I never really make videos where I just kind of sit and talk, and I feel like, why not? That's probably a little bit, uh, a little bit easier uh, to do, just to say some stuff. Um, so, yeah, first of all, uh, this is going on YouTube.com, so I should probably, uh, you know, give a little explanation as to uh, what are my thoughts on YouTube and my channel. It, it's been a weird thing, uh, kind of the, the evolution of of my view of my channel. Uh, and I this is going to lead into why I think making your own website is very important. So for the longest time... I was very proud of my YouTube channel. I'm like, oh yeah, guys, youtube.com forward slash it's MCV here. Check it out, you know. Um, and I think part of it is because that was my sort of little space on the internet. And now with Libre Galaxy, I actually have my own website. And I have a lot more control. I can actually make cool things uh, coded in. Um, now, of course, Libre Galaxy, that's a whole different thing. It's not just like my personal website. It's just, you know, like a website with a, with a goal in mind of helping people, um, you know, uh, choose ethical technology solutions and whatnot. But, yeah, uh, it's kind of interesting how things have evolved for me telling people like, oh, yeah, check out my YouTube channel to, oh, yeah, check out Libre Galaxy, my website. Uh, and I think that may kind of play a part in me, I don't want to say not caring about my YouTube channel, but... You know, it has a lot of history to it, but in some ways, I'm like, I feel no inclination to have to upload because I can, you know, disseminate information, um, you know, and have talk with my community, um, obviously through my website, but especially like things like Discord and stuff. I mean, that's where that's where the discussion really happens, uh, not really like in the comment section of any videos I make or anything. Um, but yeah, that's just I want to start with that. Just because that's just an interesting kind of perspective uh, for me. And, and if you're feeling the same way where um, maybe you're thinking, you know, I want to share my website or something with somebody, um, you know, consider actually making a website instead of just having a YouTube channel or like social media page. You know, I have friends who are like, oh, I have this really popular social media page. I'm like, well, that's cool. But like, what if it was your own website? I mean, you could have your posts on your website, and then you have something that you can truly call your own, right? You're not dependent on a platform to host your content. You are hosting it yourself. Tangential content, I don't know. Uh, this is going to be a random, random video, very random, talking about random topics in the mind, I don't know. But yeah, by the way, I'm in college right now. Uh, I don't know, I know different people come in and uh, check out the channel, uh, some videos, some other people uh, uh, watch no videos, you know, I mean, it's fine. Uh, either way, uh, you know, people kind of come back and they're like, hey, I saw you, I met you on Minecraft, like, four or five something years ago. Uh, I didn't know you still do videos, or whatever it might be, it's kind of funny. Uh, I've gotten comments like that, like, oh, hey, <laughs> it's been a long time. And it's like, yes, yes, it has been. <laughs> so in case you haven't been following, yes, I'm in college now. Life is good, very happy. Uh, I'm not going to be exactly revealing any other information. Uh, I'm going to attempt not to dox myself. <laughs> that would be a good good thing. Although I've I've been kind of bad about that. That's kind of this running joke uh, that I've like accidentally doxed myself like 500 times. Uh, definitely didn't happen. Definitely have never doxed myself before. Uh, but this is not an invitation to do so, please. Uh, but um, I guess going off of that is is an interesting idea. Um, that I do believe that people need to separate themselves from like their online identity just as a security measure. Um, but increasingly, that's the lines are blurring. Not even just with social media and stuff, but with other platforms that are like identity verification management and whatnot, you know, you're submitting all this personal information, uh, you know, to the internet. And to some degree, I understand that, um, 
in some degree there are, there are benefits there, but I also think things like Tor and being able to actually like surf anonymously is very important um, just for democracy in general. Uh, you know, if, if you're especially in a country um, where uh, you, you will get hurt, uh, you can be put at risk if you share information, let's say about like a corrupt politician or something, uh, then the ability to use something like Tor to anonymously disseminate this information is, is very important. Um, so, uh, anyways, um, besides that, that's like more of the more extreme end, the more simplistic end of it, or more realistic end for just you and me is, is that, um, you know, when you put your online identity out there, you start sharing information. Like if I were to say you like, this is where I go to college and here's my address, uh, you know, that puts you at risk, uh, you know, cause the, the level, the playing field is not level, right? I don't know who's watching this video right now, and if somebody were, were to be like, haha, I want to find you, uh, which obviously, probably not too many people, but who knows, I could I could make some enemies or something, you never know what could happen. Um, you know, uh, I don't know who that person is, but they know who I am, and they know where I live, you know what I mean? Uh, so they know this personal information, uh, and, and, you know, the more information you share, uh, the more you kind of put yourself at, at risk. And that's why I've never really wanted to do too many videos of... That's why I've never done a vlog. Uh, I've actually wanted to ever since, like, you know, and I was kind of started the channel around that time, I wanted to be like, yeah, here's my life uh, and stuff. You know, because it's cool to share that, right? It's cool to kind of show people, like, here's what I'm doing and, and, and whatnot. And, you yeah, know, I know there's traditional channels of doing that, like social media, you know, you got, like, I don't know, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Um, but those aren't as good as just like YouTube, for example, you just upload a video and like, here's what's going on. And I've had, I've had, uh, you know, so many good memories watching just different vlogs from different content creators kind of over the years. And it's, it's really awesome as a tool just to see, you know, what people are doing, um, and, and kind of a perspective into their life. Uh, so yeah, uh, vlogs, I kind of wish I could do some vlogs, but that's not in the cards. Um, but if I was living in an optimal world, I would do some vlogs. However, uh, there's the potential that I could, right? Like, I've always thought, okay, if I were to do a vlog, I could do it, but I'd have to be like, like this. If I'm outside, it'd be like this sort of angle because I don't want to reveal the buildings around me. Uh, you know, like, because if, if I were to walk by some building, right, uh, somebody could just Google Maps it, right? Uh, especially if it has like text on the outside, you already know what it looks like. If it's like, oh, this person, like this hospital or this business or something, like you already know my approximate location. Uh, and I don't know, I'm getting kind of hung up about like location in particular, not you know other information that could be out there, but you know, location's a pretty, pretty, very important one um, in respects to vlogging and and whatnot. Um, and then it's like, if I do a video like this, like, oh, I'm walking on the street, guys. Like, that's just cringe. Like, that's just, <laughs> like, it's not good content. You want something like this, where, you know, you can kind of see, like, the, the surroundings and stuff. And I'd be like, hey, what's going on? You know, if I'm, like, with somebody or whatever, you know? Uh, that's that's the problem. Uh, I can't really can't really do that. Um, so, I don't know. It's been kind of a thought of mine is, is has been... Uh, you know, thus far, I've been decent at, at not doxing myself. I'm not being like, hey, this is, like, where I live, um, exactly. But, uh, you know, even in, like, LinkedIn and stuff, I haven't put any personal information on LinkedIn. You know, I was, you know, I, why would I put that on there? You know, everyone's like, oh, you gotta use LinkedIn for employers and whatnot. No, I don't care. Like, that's, why would I put all this information out there? That's strange. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, I have kind of thought that maybe I could do kind of, well, kind of give up on not doxing myself. Like, just be like, eh, it's for the content, right? It's for it's for the creative expression of of making videos and, and whatnot. Uh, but, no, I don't, I don't think that's, that's probably not realistic. Uh, and that's why you've never seen a vlog on the It's MCV channel. Uh, but maybe maybe one day, maybe one day I'll be like, eh, it's okay. Cause especially like when you're a kid, you especially don't want to like dox yourself. But like I guess as you kind of, you know, grow up, you're like, eh, eh. I mean, to be clear, I don't have like Snapchat or Instagram or like any of those platforms. 
So for me, my social media experience is really primarily like YouTube, Discord, uh, Mastodon. And th those are the social media experiences that I engage in. Uh, so, you know, I guess to some people it might be strange, like, well, just, you know, do a Snapchat video or like post on Instagram. It's like, no, I, I don't like those platforms. I've deleted my accounts on them, you know, long ago. So that's not, that's not a good solution uh, to, to the kind of thought of, you know, sharing, sharing life. Uh, when in some cases, like, why would you want to do that, right? Why, why do you want to share your life? But I don't know. It's just a, it's just a cool thing. Hard to, hard to put into words that it's just like, let's just kind of be like, hey, here's a uh, little thing about my life. Because uh, I kind of joke uh, with people that, like, I could write a book even now, and it'd be, I don't know, I don't want to say a bestseller, but like, it'd be a book about just the wild stuff that has just happened uh, in my life. And I don't say that as like, oh, I'm, you know, like, I don't know, you know, committing international crimes or, you know, like whatever type of like crazy stuff you can come up with. Like, no, that's not what I'm doing, but just like in terms of, uh, you know, just like, oh, how did I end up, you know, at the library at like three in the morning working on some project, you know, like just stuff like that, that I find kind of just could be interesting. Um, <laughs> so yeah um this has been quite the random video i don't even know what the t oh yeah libra galaxy i should probably talk about that so libra galaxy fun updates with with th that uh kind of ignoring the i kind of think i covered youtube i covered that stuff i think essentially uh that hopefully i'll do like more kind of just videos in general i mean right now i don't actually have my laptop i should probably cover that <sighs> my laptop it broke uh, essentially, so the display cable, something's wrong with it. The when you'd open it up, the image would be extremely glitchy. It's gotten worse over time, and now when you open it up, there is nothing. There is no picture. Uh, there is a backlight, but there is there is no picture. So I sent it uh, to the manufacturer, and hopefully they're going to get it fixed relatively soon. It's been a it's been a you know a week or something. Uh, I have not gotten an email back. I know they told me that I've, they got it. They haven't told me, like, oh, yeah, we're fixing it, or, oh, yeah, like, this is pretty broken. They haven't given me an update uh, on on my laptop. That's very really annoying. So right now I'm using a university loaner, which, luckily, I'm very glad that, you know, the university provides a loaner. But at the same time, it's like, oh, my God, I miss using Linux. I miss having everything set up the way I need it to be set up. I miss having long battery life. Like, this laptop, it's a Windows laptop with... An Intel Core i5. It has like regular Windows battery life, so like I don't know, four-ish, five, maybe more like four-ish hours of of battery life, and that's not good. I'm used to more battery life with um, my System76 Pangolin, which is the laptop that I, I had to send back. Uh, you know, it, it has a pretty good processor in it, and when you put it to kind of um, power saving mode. You can you can go for longer uh, than four hours, man. So I have to carry my charging brick uh, with me, uh, and that's fine. Obviously, you know you adapt. You know I'm a human, you can adapt to changes. But it's like, oh my gosh, I miss, I miss my my old laptop. And hopefully they're gonna get it sent back uh, to me relatively soon. And that's kind of left me in an awkward situation where I haven't been able to really work on server stuff because of. The way I have all my software set up, uh, I kind of need to run everything on my uh, desktop at home or my laptop um, that is currently not with me. So um, over Thanksgiving break, I had uh, time to do many changes. And that's why I spent a lot of time out with family and, and whatnot, but also just grinding away trying to make software changes for Libre Galaxy that I know I cannot make. Uh, you know, going forward uh, until I get my laptop back, which is, <coughs> excuse me, I should probably stop sneezing uh, on video, but yeah, until I get my laptop back, not happening, uh, which is, and I don't know when that's going to be, which is very annoying. So, uh, conclusion being that I worked very hard uh, over Thanksgiving break to get things going uh, with, with Libre Galaxy uh, improvements, and I have. I've, I've worked quite a bit on the Minecraft server side of things, not really the website or anything else, which is fun. Uh, the Minecraft server, I worked on 
different plugins like uh, the um, planet system and I worked on the heads plugin um, and other things too but those are primarily the plugins I worked on new features new improvements you can check them out um, the big thing that I did is actually a infrastructure cloud infrastructure move so previously we we're using a VPS from Cantabo and I'm like all right Black Friday uh, I know there's gonna be some good deals from OVH because uh, of previous experience uh, with uh, South Hollow yeah, if you don't know I work um, I'm a co-owner of South Hollow and also obviously the sole owner of uh, Libre Galaxy and at Sao Paulo, we've had many, many fun uh, meetings over like, oh, Black Friday deals, which one's the best one, which system do you want to get? Because uh, for Sao Paulo, we're spending way too much money, and by we, I actually don't mean me, I'm not actually paying for Sao Paulo. <laughs> Very luckily, uh, luckily uh, I'm not the one doing that, I'm just managing the infrastructure and, and whatnot. Other people are paying for it, which is very good. Um, that's why money at Sao Paulo is not a concern, um, which, is, which is good. You know, paying way, 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 way too much. Uh, but that's besides the point. We've used OVH Cloud at Self Hollow, and I'm like, I like them. Uh, I've gone to know their interface, different intervention methods. You know, I'm not going to say I'm a professional uh, or anything like that. But over time, I've been like, okay, I get how the OVH interface works. If something goes terribly wrong, I have the IPMI to access because it's a dedicated machine. Um, stuff like that. So... Over Black Friday, I knew they were going to have good deals, and there was a good Black Friday deal. So, I got the deal uh, from OVH Cloud uh, for their Black Friday um, system. And yeah, I basically moved everything from Contabo to that new OVH system. And it's running right now, up and running. Everything works. Uh, it, it took like a day to do. I, I worked well into the night. But I made it happen, and I'm very pleased that uh, it all works well. I have more RAM, I have more storage, better, well, a dedicated processor now. Uh, so I just, I'm very happy with that. I'm very, very, very happy. Uh, and then Contabo, that's gone. Uh, they had, I had some reliability uh, issues with Contabo. So hopefully those will no longer be a problem uh, with going forward, pretty much, with OVH Cloud. Uh, so yeah, those are, I guess, my updates, uh, just talking about random things with YouTube and then things with Libre Galaxy. Uh, uh, I guess the only other thing to cover is that I will be entering into finals, uh, relatively soon. Basically this month is going to be pain, uh, in, in the sense that I have to kind of wrap up classes and then do finals and whatnot. So, um, yeah, kind of don't expect too, too much from me until like December. Uh, hopefully, like, late December, late, late, late December, and then hopefully I'll be doing more things, because um, even though I did kind of say earlier that, you know, uh, for example, this YouTube channel, I don't really, like, prioritize it or anything, it's just, like, whenever I feel like it, I'll upload, um, I just want to do more things with it, right, I, I do want to, like, I've had this channel forever, kind of, uh, it's, it's been a, a long time coming, and uh, at this point, I know YouTube has no idea what this channel is. Like, I've uploaded Minecraft videos, Linux videos, open source videos. Like, YouTube has no idea what my channel's actually about. Like, it's so confused. And you can tell with the algorithm uh, that it, it's very confused. So, I'm going to make it more confused, uh, essentially, hopefully in the future. And just upload kind of whatever I want um, and, and stuff. Uh, you know, I... <laughs> I kind of use YouTube as a as a clips platform too. Like I've had some, I've uploaded videos that are like unlisted, obviously not for the general public. They're just like different people I know doing silly things uh, and just having the most ridiculous titles to it. Like <laughs> out of context, this sounds strange. But like one of the videos is a video that happened in here, and the video title is <laughs> "Woman Walks Into My Room." with macaroni and cheese in her hand and friends by my side while having a mental breakdown. That def that actually did happen, uh, where somebody I knew walked in here and she had a mental breakdown and she had macaroni and cheese in her hand. It was horrible. Anyways, that's besides the point. Uh, <laughs> funny things. YouTube is used for funny things. And I think that it would be cool if I could do more to kind of just 
you know, uh, upload more content. That would be uh, just kind of funny, sharing, sharing my life. Things like that, obviously I'm not doing public leaks. I don't, I've not said like, hey, uh, can I upload this video? Like, they didn't actually really have like a mental breakdown. It was more of just like a joke kind of thing. But like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, can I upload this to the internet and like make it public? Like, I'm not going to ask that, right? But, you know, for other things that are, are more, uh, you know, interesting, like, I'm working, uh, you know, the library really late, studying and stuff. Like, here are the shenanigans going on while I'm, I'm studying with my friend uh, or something, right? Like, that could be a bit more interesting. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of that. That's, those are my current kind of thoughts. Hopefully, I'll do more videos like this at some point. I like just talking. I feel like that's, that's better. I don't need to have, like, oh, look at me. I'm doing Minecraft while I'm talking, right? Um... You know, it's not like, oh, here's the Subway Surfers gameplay, and then, then me talking. Uh, you don't need Subway Surfers gameplay. If you've made it this far in the video, that, then you probably have uh, an ability to pay attention, which is good. You should keep that ability. And if you haven't made it through this video without skipping ahead, fair enough, too. Uh, people don't have a lot of time. We're, we're in a very busy society, uh, and that's simply how it goes. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll probably do more videos. Um, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist where I'm like, I need to make the video perfect, and I'm trying to kind of step away from that. That's why this video is, is not going to be edited. I'm just going to shoot it, and I'm going to upload it, because I need to stop pretending like a billion people watch my videos, because they don't. You don't need to have, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. If I don't have, like, my funny intro card or, like, whatever it might be, you're not going to care. You're here for the topic. You're here for the content. Hopefully here for me. Okay, hopefully I'm important. I'm an aspect of, uh, of the uh, reason why you're watching this video. But uh, yeah, I kinda, I'm trying to step away from that. So that's why I'm going to hopefully do more videos like this where I just talk. Alright, thanks for, uh, for watching. Have a marvelous day. Bye-bye.